everyone and thank you so much for joining me at Lisa B. Um, so we are going to spend about 10 minutes doing a really gentle back stretch which will be really great um, if you suffer any back pain. Um, obviously take any advice from your doctor before you do any stretches, um, especially if you've got any injuries to your back. So you need a big cushion, um, I've got a big cushion off my bed um, and I'm just using the band from my um, mat, a resistance band or just anything you can loop around your foot will work. It doesn't have to be um, elasticated. So let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna use the cushion. So we're gonna place it a little bit between the thighs and we're gonna come into a pose of a child with the cushion there just to help a little bit. So lay the torso, rest the head. And now just try and breathe into it. If you need more cushions because you need to be higher, then just grab some more cushions and just breathe. So obviously you might not be as low as this, depending on your flexibility. So just try and relax the shoulders. Hopefully you won't fall asleep. Um, good, and then start to slowly come out of that. And then we're gonna lie on the cushion, so place it behind you. So right behind your hips, bend the knees. This is a little back extension, a little bit easier than using a foam roller. So my lower back, my thoracic back is on, and then my shoulders and my head are gonna come down. You might not be able to lower your head to the mat, it just depends on your flexibility in your back. So again, just breathe. This might be quite uncomfortable if you're not used to doing these back stretches as long as it doesn't hurt it might feel uncomfortable but yeah as long as there's no pain so just breathe in one more inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth one more drop the shoulders and then start to come onto your side. And now place the mat um, cushion a little bit higher and you're gonna lie with your head on it. So stack the knees, stack the hips, make sure the hips don't roll back, so keep them facing forward. Arms out in front, rest your head down. We're gonna roll the head as well, but keep the head down. So just open the top arm. Inhale as you open, follow it with your eyes, but the head stays down. Open as much as you can without letting the hips come out of alignment and close. We're going to do five of these. Open. Good. Remember, follow it with the eyes. Let's go for two more. Keep those knees stacked, hips stacked. So the more flexible you are, the more this arm is going to get lower to the floor behind you. Good, and come back up. And then push yourself up. Just go exactly the same thing on the other side. Lie down, stack the knees and hips. Make sure the hips are facing forward. And open, follow it with the eyes. You might find one side is a lot more flexible than the other. So just breathe. Make sure you're turning your head. Occasionally have a little check that your knees and your hips are not moving. Keep the neck long. Let's go for two more. One more. Good, and then start to push yourself. So just move the cushion to the side for a moment. We're gonna lie down. So just relax your shoulders. So bring your hands behind the head, open the elbows, feet and knees together. Keep looking up, keep the neck long, keep the elbows open as much as you can. Knees to the left. As close to the floor as you can, keeping the knees together, ankles together, knees up and over. Back 
center. Up and over. And back to center. So release the hands and bring your hands a little bit away from you. So they're not by your hips, they're about a foot or so away from the hips. So you can either keep your feet down and just knees side to side without lifting the opposite shoulder, or as long as you're okay to do so, engage the core. So pull the belly button in towards the spine, keep the abs in. So legs are in tabletop, we're just gonna come to the side, just a few inches, come back up and over. Remember, always keep your feet on the mat if this is too much. So keeping both shoulders down. So as the knees go to the left, your right shoulder is, want to, is going to want to lift, so don't let that happen. Up and over. Good. One more each side. Keep the tummy muscles in. You control in this with the abs. Keep breathing. Good. And then grab the band that you have. We're going to stretch out the hamstrings. So quite often, short hamstrings will really affect your back. So it puts a lot of strain on your back if your hamstrings are really short and you don't ever stretch them. So if you're here with this stretch, that's fine. Don't force the leg straight, but just get it as straight as you can without any pain happening. And just breathe. So flexing through that foot. Other leg on the mat can be bent or straight, whichever is more comfortable for you. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. And then let's change over, other foot in the band. Just relax everything because you're not doing any ab work, you're just stretching, so relax your core, push through that heel, and again, you might be here, you might um, not be able to get the leg straight, but in, in time, with practice, you will be able to get the leg straight. Keep pushing through the heel, you should feel it a little bit in the calf as well. So let's do a gentle figure four, which I actually forgot to do on the other side. So. If you can, bring that other ankle and place it there. You might be there, that might be your limit. But if you can bring it there and then draw that leg back, then do. So now I've got, I'm stretching my hamstring on the left side and I'm feeling a little bit in the right hip. This is just a really gentle figure of four glute stretch. Just breathe in. Keep pushing this knee away from you. So keep this knee open. And let's just swap over to do the figure of four on the other side. So ankle on that thigh. Again, it can be here and you can draw the leg back or if you can get that foot there, draw that leg back. Keep pushing that opposite knee open and away from you. So I'm feeling it in my right leg all the way up my straight leg and then I'm feeling it in the left hip and left glute on the left side because that's the leg that's crossed. Again, keep breathing. and then come out of that. It's really important just to hold those stretches rather than just do them for a few seconds. So we're gonna straighten the right leg, bring the left knee in, and now pull it in as, as much as you can. And really try and straighten this right leg. Now take the twist, hold on to this left knee with the right hand, pull that left knee across, all the way across, look to the left. Feeling a lower back stretch. Keep both shoulders down. Come back to centre. Pull the right knee in, both legs are in. Pull them briefly in, straighten the left leg all the way down. Pull that right knee in a little bit deeper. And then right knee over to the left. Look to the right, keep that right shoulder down.
come back to center. Place your feet on the mat hip distance. Now, although this is a strength move, it's also really good for your lower back. So hands down by your hips, tilt your pelvis back and engage the core. And now lift the lower back off the mat, lift the middle back, upper back, lift, keep squeezing your bottoms. This is the glute strength and the hamstrings working. This is um, shoulder bridge or just bridge. Come back down. Good, really gentle. And again, tilt your pelvis back. So it's like the lower back has got closer to the mat and then you peel off, squeeze in the bottom. So you feel a little bit of a stretch through your hip flexors as well. Come back down. Let's go for two more. Tilt the pelvis back, then lift. And I'm squeezing my glutes, I'm squeezing the bottom the whole time. And come down. Last one, lift. And down. Good. And then we're going to stretch out the hips um, and the glutes a little bit. So cross your left leg over your right. Try and have no gap between the legs and then lift your right foot, reach up and grab the ankle. So you've got your right hand on your left ankle and your left hand on your right ankle. Now your head might need to be off the mat, it depends on your flexibility. Now pull your ankles in towards you and slightly apart. So I'm now really feeling this in my left glute because my left leg is on top. My left glute and hip. Keep pulling your ankles in and slightly apart. Breathe in, try and tell in that left side to relax. Just use the breath. Good. And then change over. Right leg over the left, try and have no gap between the legs. Lift the left foot, reach up, grab your ankles. Pull them in and slightly apart. Breathe. and then come out of that and then just roll onto your side come up and then come into a four point kneeling position so wrists under the shoulders knees under the hips so now you're gonna round the back really gently dropping the head lowering the belly chest through head up Relaxing the shoulders and again, rounding the back. And one more time. Good. Now we're going to take the right arm up. Look up. Now bring it down. Thread it under. Straighten this left arm and place it on top of the other palm. So stay here, you might need to stay a little bit higher. You might not get down to this point. And you should feel a pretty good stretch in your upper back. If it's okay to do so, you can take that left arm up. Keep it down if that's too much. Bring it down. Push back up. I'm turning around just so I can see you. So left arm up. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, thread it under the right arm. You might stay here. Head might go down or not, and then you might be able to bring that right hand on top. Right arm up. Don't do that if that's too much. Breathe. Good. And then come back up. Grab your cushion, place it back. We're back in that start position. So remember, you might need to be a lot higher. You might need more cushions, but you might be able to come down, take the knees wide. We're back to the start. Just notice if you've got a little bit lower. Notice how you feel. Just breathe in through the nose, 
out through the mouth, in through the nose. One more breath. and then come up so this was just a really quick um, back friendly stretch just for those days where you might feel a little bit achy um, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already um, leave me your comments let me know how you got on with this video let me know your requests um, for any more videos um, give me a like and thank you so much for joining me I hope this video helped and have a beautiful day and I will see you soon